Civil society groups in Nigeria have raised concerns over the fear of the imminent collapse of democracy in West Africa with the recent announcement of the withdrawal of Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso from the regional bloc. This concern was raised after a review of the implications of the withdrawal as the attempt to offer solutions to challenges facing democracy in Africa. The decision by three members of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, to withdraw membership from the regional body is raising serious concerns across the continent, moreover, after the military seized power through a coup d'etat in these countries. The failure of democracy in West Africa is actually the failure of development, the failure of human welfare. So we are worried as a school that this is not just spiting ECOWAS, this is not just spiting the Nigerian government, as um, some might see it because of Nigerian leading role in, in, in stopping or uh, speaking against the coup. This is actually a serious challenge to, to sustainability of livelihood in West Africa. So this triple uh, action, poverty, rising poverty, rising fragility and violence, and of course, decreasing economic uh, stagnation and depression in terms of economic growth, means that this should be a prime place for focus for Africans and international people. The geopolitics of West Africa requires more democratization. And so the Abuja School wants to not just um, you know, condemn this development, but also to seek for explanation. It is all democracy that has failed, but how democracy has been practiced here. And uh, for us to say that democracy has failed anywhere, particularly in Nigeria and West Africa, democracy ought to be first and foremost practiced and practiced properly. And our observations, based on empirical analysis, point to the fact that uh, democracy has not been practiced uh, properly here. At best, what we have is a civil rule and uh, it is degenerating to clear oligarchy and state capture. I mean, the key takeaway is West Africa Democracy Observatory. If we can go away with this every stakeholder that came to this place, the essential need to have this hub, it is more than a communication hub. It's equally a hub where you can share policy ideas. It's a hub where you can build some momentum for momentum for you know preventive diplomacy. It's a place where you can gather data that could help with early warning and early response. ECOWAS has its own brand of peace and security infrastructure protocols that could have nudged somebody somewhere that in the past one, two, three, four, five, ten years, something has gone wrong with managing this infrastructure, managing this institution. We have a lot of instruments, particularly from the ECOWAS system, but not many of us are familiar with the contents of these instruments. And as such, engaging our democracy has become a major uphill task, and there are usually gaps. Unfortunately, as well is the fact that a number of the foreign services of ECOWAS member states and on the continent are beginning to have inadequacies and their quality are diminished. If we're going to support the initiatives of the civil society actors that are going to help us in each of the member states, to deepen and strengthen democracy, we will need to familiarize ourselves with these instruments. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.